Good morning, kids. Are you ready for the kids' Bible lesson? Woohoo! Jonah chapter 3 says, The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Do you remember what happened the first time? Jonah ran away, didn't obey, got went onto a boat to run away, got tossed off the boat, and got swallowed by a great fish, sat there for three days, prayed to God when he was in the, in the deep sea, and then also in the fish, and God had the fish spit him out, and here he is. And the word of the Lord has come to him a second time, saying, Jonah, go to Nineveh, and I'm going to tell you what to say. And do you know what Jonah did this time? He obeyed! Woohoo! So Jonah walked, and walked, and walked, and walked, and he finally came to Nineveh. Then God told Jonah what to say. In 40 days, you're all going to be destroyed. In 40 days, you're going to be destroyed. In 40 days, you're going to be destroyed. Jonah went throughout the whole city all day long, saying, In 40 days, you're all going to be destroyed. He did it throughout the whole city. To everyone, he told them, In 40 days, you're going to be destroyed. How many days until they're going to be destroyed? Forty. When the people of Nineveh heard Jonah's message, they believed in God, the Bible says. And they called the fast, which meant they didn't eat any food. And they wore sackcloth, which was the kind of clothes that they would wear to show they were really sorry. And it says from the greatest of them, even to the least, they did that. Because they believed in God you know that that is always what God has wanted? He has wanted us to believe him, to believe what he says when he tells us things. And here the people of Nineveh believed God and they are beginning to repent, it means turn their hearts to do the right thing. Because Ninevites were doing very bad things. So how do you and I kids know what is, what is it that God wants us to do? Well, do you know that God has given us the Bible? Here in the story of Jonah, we've already learned that God wants us to obey him when he tells us what to do. There's lots of things that God has told us to do in the Bible. And now in chapter 3, we've learned how much God wants us to repent and turn from our wicked ways, just like he had Jonah go and tell Nineveh that they were going to be destroyed. And when they heard the message, they repented. Now the king heard Jonah's message too. Do you know what he did? The Bible says he got up off of his throne, took off his royal robe, and sat down on ashes. That's like after you have a fire, you have some ashes left over. Sat down on ashes and put on sackcloth. And then he made a proclamation to all the kingdom and said, I don't want anybody to eat or drink. I don't want even the, the animals to eat or drink. And I want everyone to put on sackcloth and ashes and call on God and turn away from everything that you've been doing bad and away from being mean to those around you. Who knows? Maybe God will turn and relent and maybe he won't kill us all in 40 days. So come on guys, everybody call on God. Each of the people of Nineveh, when they heard what Jonah had said, repented. They stopped doing the wrong things and they cried out to God for mercy and God answered. When God saw all that they did, he was so pleased with it and he decided not to destroy them. God is a God of mercy. He loves to not give us what we deserve, if only we will turn and repent. When Jesus died on the cross, he paid for all the sins of all those Ninevites, and he paid for your sins too. So God wants to give you mercy if you'll just turn to him. Next week, we're going to learn what did Jonah think of that? Did Jonah like it that God didn't punish the people of Nineveh? Find out next week. Bye, kids.